floor to United Nations one. Thank you, Madam President. United Nations Watch remains gravely concerned about the human rights situation in Afghanistan, in particular the mistreatment of women. We welcome the report that is before us today. One of the courageous defenders of women's rights is, in Afghanistan is Dr. Masuda Jalal, a pediatrician who is that country's Minister of Women's Affairs and its first women to run for president. We have had the pleasure to promote the vital work of Dr. Jalal and to host her in Geneva on several occasions. In 2010, she received UN Watch's Morris Abram Human Rights Award. Several months ago, Dr. Jalal visited with us and with UN officials here in Geneva to urge the international community not to legitimize the Taliban. The Taliban are gaining power, she warned, saying that this poses great danger for educated women. The Taliban and religious extremists are being supported by Iran, she said, which is increasing its influence in the region. She described the situation as critical. Dr. Jalal's warning is underscored by today's report. UN Watch is alarmed by its findings. Violence against women and girls, including sexual violence and harmful traditional practices, such as providing women in retribution for murder and other crimes, so-called honor killings, early enforced marriages, and rape, continue be to be persistent and widespread in Afghanistan. UN Watch condemns the unjust treatment of women and girls who are forced to flee their homes due to abuse or to threats of forced marriage. These victims are often themselves charged with crimes of adultery or of intent to commit adultery. Deep-rooted discrimination, harmful traditional practices, and impunity for violence against women must come to an end. The choice facing Afghanistan is that faced by nations across the Middle East. A society that denies its women basic dignity, equality, and opportunity ends up denying its entire population the blessings of tolerance, education, development, progress, and peace. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you.